Mark Eastwood. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the Secretary of State uh, for mentioning Dewsbury several times in his opening remarks. Uh, under the old proposals for the Northern Powerhouse Rail, Dewsbury wouldn't have got a single mention because they weren't included. So I'd like to thank the Secretary of State for that. Uh, people often forget that the North is not just made up of cities like Manchester yeah. or Edinburgh. Yeah. There are towns like Dewsbury, Murfield and Huddersfield that also deserve accessible and realistic de delivered transport services. Under the old plans, my constituency would have seen little, if any, improvement, but will now undergo major developments, including full electrification and improved station facilities, alongside faster connections to nearby cities. The original Northern Powerhouse Rail proposals would not have developed benefits to the North for another two decades and would have missed out Dewsbury and Huddersfield in their entirety. That is why I fully support the integrated rail plan. And on that point, I was extremely surprised that the Labour leader of Kirklees Council signed a joint letter to the Prime Minister which suggested that he wants anywhere but his own borough to benefit from the integrated rail plan. <laughs> I would therefore urge the, la the leader of Kirklees Council to stop blindly following his counterparts in Bradford and Leeds and the Mayor of West Yorkshire and stand up for Kirklees by acknowledging the fact that Dewsbury and Huddersfield are now benefiting greatly by the introduction of this plan. This plan also changes the game for British businesses and those involved in the rail industry. For example, AUS Limited, a company based in Clayton West, who supplies specialist equipment to Network Rail. Coming from a business background myself, I know the importance of the tendering process and co will continue to work with not just AUS, but other companies in my constituency to ensure that they have the best chance of taking the opportunities granted through this major rail investment. However, there is one final piece of the jigsaw in my constituency that is still missing. The much needed upgrades to the Penston line. Despite putting in a joint levelling up bid with my honourable friend, the member for Penniston and Stocksbridge, there is still uncertainty as to whether we will be, su be successful as we move into the second round of bidding. The integrated rail plan more than adequately covers those travelling from east to west by significantly improving links with Manchester, Leeds and York via Dewsbury and Huddersfield. However, it is equally important that we link up the north and south through my constituency and beyond by connecting Huddersfield to Sheffield, making it accessible to people living in those villages within my constituency which have stations on the line. This would enable the people of Stocksmore, Denbydale and Shepley to commute between these hubs and also just as easily to Manchester and Leeds. To make much needed station improvements on the Penniston line and move from an, half, an hourly to a half hourly service would be transformational for my constituency. With, with that in mind, could I please ask the Rail Minister to consider the benefits of this upgrade and investigate how it could be incorporated into the IRP. With a total investment of £96 billion, I'm sure he could squeeze in the odd £47 million. Investment in rail in the north has been a central element of the manifesto I ran on. Levelling up cannot wait until the 2040s, so I fully support this plan which delivers more punctual, frequent and reliable journeys for the people of Dewsbury, Murfield, Kirkburn and Denbydale.